Yeah, so I basically try to use, um, you know, rec I use a lot of my symbols that I use are very like universal, you know, universally recognized in the collective subconscious. A lot of people ask me what, what do they all mean? Um, it's not something that I consciously focus on. I'm going to pick these symbols and draw them. Um, it kind of developed through the same nature, the repetition of graffiti, redrawing the same basic um, simple things over and over, you know. Got the skull, um, the skull, fishbone, broken bottles, um, black widows, eyes, pyramids, um, you know, we got these, you know, anthropomorphic crosses, and I started just kind of combining them and repeating them the same way as you would, you know, doing graffiti with letters, um, constantly redrawing them and re-innovating. You know, a lot of the symbols, when you think about it, they kind of represent, you know, um, you got the fishbone, hunger, death, hunger, you know, despair. Um, but I think at the same time, these types of symbols, they're people um, instantly recognize them, and that's what makes them be able to connect to the painting. My newest one is the, you know, kind of the the World Trade Centers, you know, in type of, you know, like an iconic representation. You know, you can see in three different forms. So that's kind of how this they developed. I mean, and they've developed. They're in a way they're such simple images, but I've kind of developed into it like a signature style where, you know, you can. Even though it's just a real simple image, you can tell it's that I did it. So it's kind of that same, um, you know, repetition mentality that I grew up learning about in art from. So I love, you know, I like to have a balance. I'm, you know, people when they think about the type of art that I do or I'm into, you know, they think it's really messy and sloppy without much attention to stuff. But I'm kind of a kind of a weirdo about symmetry. You know, sometimes it, I use a lot of symmetry, even though you can't really tell. Like, if it feels to me intuitively unbalanced, then, you know, it really kills me. So it's kind of, you know, it's really, it's really, um, I first started drawing these icons because I, I told myself I was going to stop working from any type of source material, materially at all, even real life, and just draw you know, directly from my mind. And I think that's with not much of a basis in figure drawing or anything like that, you know, in my mind it was these real simple images. So I think I kind of just took to them and started doing them over and over the same way, you know, as you would create a new alphabet. I kind of did that to retransform. And they're really like an illustrative style. Um, you know, it works really good for the collages because, you know, I can do them. And another thing is um, most of these drawings, you know, I was doing at my day job. So I started doing a lot of real small drawings, you know, so as not to piss off the management and, you know, start collaging them into larger works. So kind of started out as sort of a necessity, um, you know, but it developed in, I was really happy. I just let it kind of naturally um, develop, so pretty happy with, you know, where it is right now, so far. I really like textual based paintings. I think a lot of people, you know, like to me a good painting is like a good joke, it has a, like a good punchline, something that, you know, it, it may not give 100% um, you know, um, understanding of what the painting's about, but it has a little something there. You know, I like the really, I like having a lot of stuff. I like people to look at it from afar and appreciate it, you know, um, but then also get up and be like, oh, what does this all say? And, you know, read all the little stuff in there. I think it, it involves the, the viewer more. And I think a lot of the images and imagery and lettering is so abstract that a lot of people can't 
grasp it, but when I have just some simple writing in there, you know, maybe as to a clue and maybe to help uh, bring them deeper into the painting. Because most of my stuff is really pretty multi-layered, so there's usually a lot going on.